y'all how to edit your Instagram photos. All right, first thing, let me go ahead and screen record. Okay. Okay, so boom, I'm screen recording. First thing y'all want to do is go to the App Store. And that's if you got an iPhone. If you got an uh, Android phone, just go to the uh, Google Play Store and look up Lightroom. It's an Adobe app. Oh, I put in Lightroom. But anyway, it opened up. I already got it. So just make sure you download Lightroom. download uh, Lightroom alright now you want to open up the app once you get in the app it's going to make you register and stuff make sure you register too because this app's so good you might end up paying for the premium version of it which I got the Adobe Creative Cloud so I got access to all of the um, Adobe apps including the mobile apps so I'm going to probably drop another video about that too on how you can get it cheaper without being a student. I pay $28 a month for all apps, you know what I'm saying, which that's for the first year, but once that year expires, I'm going to just back up every. Okay, so boom, what you want to do is open up Lightroom. Go in the Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and edit this photo since the first one that popped up. But um, you can add photos to your Lightroom that give you cloud space as well. But I pay premium, so I got effects that uh, a lot of people don't have. So I'm going to just go ahead and um edit this photo without the premium effects just so you can see the outcome of what you can get just from downloading a free app all right first thing i'm gonna do is hit the auto button see what it do i don't even like that so basically i'm gonna just tweak the auto settings i'm gonna probably go into the uh curve you see the curve right here boom i'm gonna drop my shadows i'm gonna raise my highlights Honestly, that's good enough right there, but I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna go into my effects and I'm gonna add a little bit of dehaze. That's gonna bring it darker and it's gonna take the haze away and add just a tiny bit of texture and bring the clarity up with it as well. I don't want vignette, I don't, if the photo is dark enough, I don't need vignette. So I'm gonna go into my light tab down there at the bottom and um, bring my shadows all the way out. I'm gonna bring my whites up I'm gonna bring my highlights up to match them whites right there all right so boom if we had the uh, premium if you got the premium app you can go into your uh, selective and just put that around the headlights and dim them down just a little bit if you like that type of fish if you like the uh, bright headlight look then you can just keep it like this no problem but basically I'm gonna go to my color hit the white balance eyedropper find somewhere that's supposed to be white and let it change the white balance and hit the check all right so boom we got that covered my vibrance is up a little bit i'm gonna play with the vibrance turn it all the way up turn it all the way down it depends on what type of photos or what type of feel you want coming down your instagram feed and um i think i'm gonna go with this but i'm gonna also go to color and bring my temperature a little bit colder and you know my car is black and gold and white so I could play with the grading in the mix but I don't think they had that under the free app so I can enhance like my yellows and stuff like that saturation and luminance and um, that's pretty much it you're gonna hit the little share button at the top export it to your camera roll and boom there you go a nice little Instagram photo for you to upload with some nice quality even if you didn't take it on a DSLR, you know, you can make it seem like you took it on a DSLR. But look, I took this photo and it was out of focus. So I'm gonna hit the auto button. I'm gonna do the same process. Hit the auto button, go to my defects and I'm gonna dehaze it. Once I dehaze it, that's really the icing on the cake. Add a little bit of texture, a little bit of clarity. Go to my color, get the eyedropper tool, find the side of the car, which is white. <coughs> Excuse me. Let that do the white balance check that off go to my crop tool and it's a straighten button it'll straighten it out throw a little crop on there if you didn't get it straight when you took the photo go to my curves and I'm gonna drop my shadows bring up my highlights it's just that easy 
and you know if you are uh, doing photos of yourself or photos of something that's a little grainy you can always go to the detail don't add any sharpen bring up the noise reduction and the color noise reduction and um, that should smooth out any type of grain that's in the photo save that export it to your camera roll and you good to go